Hi, welcome back to Learn, Share and Repeat with me, Peter Rising. It's good to see you again. If you're returning, if it's your first time here, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell as you do so. And check out the join button to see the levels of membership that are available on the channel. Right, what are we going to be talking about today? I wanted to take a look at Microsoft Teams Premium. It's been around for a good long while now, since early 2023. Not something I've taken a huge amount of interest in, but there are a lot of extra features in Teams Premium that we're going to check out in this short video. And I'm going to focus specifically on a couple of features that I'm interested in, which are sensitivity labels for meetings and end-to-end -end encryption for meetings as well. So without any further ado, let's jump in and take a look. So there are many features in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center which require Teams Premium licensing. Here as an example, you can see I'm on admin.teams.microsoft.com. I'm in Enhanced Encryption. End-to-end -end encryption, you are going to need some Teams Premium features for some of these settings. End-to-end -end call encryption is available with the standard Teams licensing, and you can toggle that on as you need to, not enabled, but users can enabled, or it can be set to not enabled. However, end-to-end -end meeting encryption needs that premium licensing, so you're going to find that that is grayed out here. So let's have a look at how we get that Teams premium licensing and what it does for us. First of all, Looking at this learn.microsoft.com article on Teams Premium Licensing is a great starting point for you to understand what you're going to get if you take the plunge and upgrade your Teams to Teams Premium. So let's scroll down and you get some highlights here in terms of what it's going to do, this add-on license that allows organizations with subscriptions to enhance their team's experience. Some of the benefits include more personalized and intelligent meetings, webinars, and town halls, enhanced protection for meetings, that's alluding specifically to sensitivity labels from Microsoft Purview, great interest of mine, advanced management and reporting capabilities for IT, and advanced virtual appointments. If we scroll down, we can see uh, by category, the list of features within Teams that are available within the normal Teams and which you need Teams Premium for. So within Meetings, for example, here we can see uh, right down to here, right down to View Attendance Reports, it's all available with the, the licensing that you've likely already got with your E3 or your E5. With Teams Premium, you're going to get additional functions for meetings like customizing meeting templates for your organization, add organization branding to meeting lobbies, lots of great things. I won't drain all of these tables. You can take a look at them yourself. Uh, a very valid question here. Are there previous Teams features that moved to Teams Premium? Um, with the general release of Teams Premium, way back in February the 1st, 2023, a year and a so ago now, uh, the, these Teams features move from Teams to Teams Premium. So some live translation of meetings captions, uh, PowerPoint live chapters, timeline markers, custom organization together mode scenes, virtual appointments for SMS notifications, organizational analytics, and scheduled queue view. There you go. So how do we get it then? Where do we get Teams Premium? Well, we go to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and we go to Billing and Purchase Services, search for Teams Premium as I've done here, and you get this Teams Premium introductory pricing. Now, you can choose your plan. Uh, you can select the introductory pricing, the quantity of the licenses that you want. You can uh, do a subscription length of a month, a year, three years, and you'll see the, the pricing will alter accordingly. Uh, based on the selection that you choose. You can also get a trial. So with the trial selected, uh, I am going to click on Start Free Trial. Let's see what we've got here. I've got all my details, quantity of one. Now do be careful when you're getting this trial because you will see here that you 
have the introductory pricing. I'm getting a one month subscription here, which includes 25 free licenses. This is the crucial part here, renews one month later. But one thing I have just spotted there is uh, licenses to be bought when the trial ends. You can select the quantity there. So after that license trial period comes to an end, you're not going to be stuck with the 25 trial licenses you can specify here. So that's a nice little safety net for you. Right, with all that being said, I'm gonna place my order now and I'm gonna get my free trial of Teams Premium Introductory Pricing for one month. Amazing, there we go. Thanks for your order. You can now manage your new subscription. Let's do just that. So here we are, we can see our Trial licenses, uh, zero of 25 assigned. So we're gonna need to assign some licenses here. So I'm gonna do exactly that right now. Assign licenses, I'm going to type in my own user details and I'm gonna assign the license to myself. So that is the first part completed, amazing. Right, let's go back to my Teams Admin Center and let's see if we can see any of those differences applied just yet. I'm gonna go right back to Enhanced Encryption. I am going to add a new policy and let's take a, yes! You know, that happened pretty much instantly. I did pause the recording and I did start another one, but we are literally talking a minute. Uh, of time difference there. So that is incredible. End-to-end -end meeting encryption uh, can be set to not enabled, but users can enabled. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to create that policy. So let's put in uh, end-to-end meeting encrypt policy. And we will have both of these not enabled, but users can enable. So let's do that. Now, with that set up, what I need to do to assign a user to it is highlight the policy, end-to-end -end meeting encryption, and I can assign users to the policy. So on the right-hand panel there, I'm gonna put in my username, I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna click apply and confirm. So with that done, with that applied to my user object, let's go back to Teams and see what, if anything, we can do. Okay, so I'm in my Teams calendar. I'm just gonna double click on some of the space here to create a meeting. Let's see what we have got. Uh, fantastic options here. So we've got our options along the top. We've got our, uh, oh, here we go. Sensitivity labels is now there. And if I click on that, I can see all the sensitivity labels that are available for me to apply to this meeting based on whether they have been assigned to Teams meetings in the label. We can just show that in a second. Now just switching to another tenant where I don't have sensitivity labels configured for Teams meetings and I don't have Teams Premium, you'll note that when scheduling a meeting, I don't have that sensitivity labeling option there. But back in the tenant where we have enabled it, what we should be able to do with the new Teams Premium features enabled and the fact that I have turned on Teams end-to-end -end meeting encryption, we should be able to click on more options and we should be able to uh, enable the end-to-end uh, -end encryption setting in a, in a toggle here. Now, it doesn't appear to be here just yet, so what we'll do is we'll give that a little bit of time to populate and we'll come back. While we wait for that, I'm just going to drop into the Purview Compliance Portal. And if we go to Information Protection and Labels, I just want to remind you, I've covered this before in many other videos, of how you can ensure that the sensitivity labels are applied uh, for your meetings. And you'll see here the labels that I have here in this tenant, they are all selected for meetings here, as well as file, email, site, and unified group. So if we if we pick on one, if we pick on the general one and we edit that label, go through the uh, the menu, we can choose what we want to be protected. There we see we have meetings selected. If we didn't have that selected, we wouldn't be able to do that. So if we go next, next again, uh, go through the access control. It's in here where we can control all of these settings. So 
What we can do is we can control who can bypass the lobby, we can uh, control who can present, who can record, uh, control whether meetings are recorded automatically, so uh, we can we can put that on perhaps. Uh, we can uh, tear that off and what we can alternatively do is control end-to-end -end encryption for meeting video and audio. So if selected you won't be able to record meetings automatically or control who can record, but if we do then what we can uh, do here is we can have the, the, the label do this actually when it's applied. We can uh, apply end-to-end -end encryption so but we should be able to ha have the user do that as well uh, and we'll come back to that in a, in a few moments so lots of cool things you can do you can control watermarks via the sensitivity label as well control the meeting chat so here we can have that switch to off or on or in meeting only and we can prevent copying chat content to the clipboard as well. Lots of great settings that we can apply. Okay, so what I'm seeing here actually, this is something I'm learning as you are, is the compatibility for joining an end-to-end -end encrypted meeting. So we've got some settings here. The meeting organizer must turn on. Uh, the end-to-end -end encryption before the meeting begins, so that's key. Uh, desktop, Windows and Mac, and mobile, iOS, and Android are supported. Channel meetings can also be end-to-end -end encrypted. Meetings using end-to-end -end encryption on Teams, Room Devices, and Surface Hub are limited to 50 participants. Other platforms, Web, which is what I'm trying to do, Virtual Desktop, Cloud Video, Interoperability, and Android Teams Rooms devices are currently not supported. If trying to join from one of these platforms, you will be blocked from joining the end-to-end -end encrypted meeting. Very, very important to know. So I've left things for about an hour, and I'm just gonna try and set up a new meeting once again with the the options selected here and more options and I still don't yet see the option to uh, explicitly turn on encryption as a user for this meeting. In that hour I did a little bit of googling and as far as I can tell you should see an option here underneath who can bypass the lobby. I'm guessing it's just taking a bit of time to appear. So. What I'll do when and if that does appear, I'll record a short video, which I'll link to this one at this moment, and you can see what that looks like. And there you have it. So Teams Premium, uh, quite easy to set up a trial in your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. It's pretty easy to set up the sensitivity labels to uh, be uh, available for meetings in Teams as well. The end-to-end -end encryption settings, once you're licensed and activated for Teams Premium, very easy to toggle that on. A few sort of delays on um, the user enabling of end-to-end -end encryption for meetings uh, so far, if I do see that change, which I believe you should be able to um, after recording this video, I will record a, a short video and link it to this one so you can see that experience as well. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what Teams Premium features you like or dislike. Is Teams Premium something your organization is using? Is it worth it? What are your thoughts? I'm interested to hear. Right, let's wind up the video. As usual, I'll ask you to give the video a great big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Hey, it's uh, uh, your opinion matters. Um, also, hit the subscribe button. You've no idea how much that helps me to grow the channel. I'm so grateful to all of my subscribers and particularly grateful to my members as well. Thank you for all that you do to support me. If you wanna become a member, hit the join button. Right, until next time, I shall see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.